let's look at how we add effects to our editing timeline. So this is our version one of our dance film with our audio edited. So we're gonna press the gear icon on the right. And if you look, project filter, there's lots of different looks that you can add to your film. Quick word of caution, when you add these effects, it will add it to the entire timeline. So let's click black and white and have a look. So that's made that clip black and white, but it's equally, it's made every clip black and white on that timeline. That's fine if you want all of your clips to have the same color or creative effect. Let's have a look at some different ones. So if I just slide across here, let's have a look at Dreamy. So Dreamy gives me a really nice faded effect at the edge. And again, that might be fine if you want it all on your film. Let's just have a look at a couple of more and you can go through these in your own time. So Ink, I quite like Ink. Gives you a really interesting effect, almost like it's an animation or a cartoon. And again, that's a really great effect if you want to add this to your film. Now, because I shot this in the dark, it creates a really interesting charcoal style effect. So let's just go have a look at comic. And again, because there's lots of black in this, that's giving me a pinky purpley glow, which actually I quite like, but I don't want it on all of my film. So I'm gonna go back to none. So let's try it if we select one clip. So let's select this clip and go to our project settings and let's just select one of these up here and it's applied it to that clip. Again, it's applied it to all of the clips. So how can we apply it to an individual clip? Let's work on that now. So if I select my clip and at the bottom, I go to my little three color wheels and I select my ink here. And if you'll notice, I've got a line that says a hundred at the end. If I bring that down, that will lessen the effect. So that effect currently is at 100% on that clip. So let's just have a quick look at that. So there's the clip without the effect on. So that's playing through. And we're going to our transition now, as you can see by the playhead. So it transitions into that effect. Now I think that's quite harsh. It's a very harsh effect when I film this in the dark. You don't really get a sense of, of what's going off here. So if I just click that and where it says 100 on my image, if I just slide that down to about 35, you'll notice what it does, it creates a really interesting effect around the dancer's body. I really like that. So I'm going to add that to a couple of clips. That's a really good effect to highlight movement. You could even go a little bit subtler than what I've just done. So let me just pull another clip from that stock and I'm going to click mono this time and I'm going to bring that now. So again, a slightly different effect, but you can see what happens when you mix the effect and your clip. So that's how you can add creative effects to the whole of your timeline or to individual clips.